Hello everybody and welcome once again to another episode of SnowRunner. Now, take a look at this. I'm in the Freightliner. Yes, I've got myself a brand new truck and this is my first outing in it. Absolutely fantastic. Look at the trailer. It's a big one. And you may wish to stick around for this challenge. It's got to be an interesting one. You may learn something if you haven't already done this particular contract. I'm not too sure if you can notice the uh, speedometer there. That possibly is the uh, the old analog tachograph unit. It looks like one. It looks like a Lucas unit. I may be wrong, but uh, it looks like a Lucas one to me. And there should be, where the hole was at the top, there should be a, uh, a key there where you turn and open it and lock it all up. Now I say this is my first outing in this truck, I've actually lying, I'm lying. I have tried to do this two or three times, possibly three times. The first time I went via the detour route or route and uh, you can get round that way but I failed in the end because I went in the wrong direction and I couldn't turn around so I have had to restart and the second time I, I, I rolled the truck and I will show you all the, all the places where you possibly can roll the truck along this uh, particular route but just up here on the right hand side you can go round that detour and there is a very short turn and I actually got the trailer stuck on a tree and I had to uh, get my western star down and uh, give it a pull out but you can get round you can get round there where it says detour you can actually get around there's a lot of snow and you may need another truck to help you uh, pull you out depending what truck you've got but I'm going to go this way because I didn't think it was possible to go this way when I first tried it due to the camber of the road I thought it was a little bit risky as you will see we're approaching um, quite a camber in the road here in the track and there's a possibility if you're not careful you could you could uh, you could actually roll it and you don't want to be doing that so choose your track along here very carefully and just look at that it's a long way down you don't want to be rolling down there I generally just go in a low gear and take it steady. Uh, if you go too fast, you, you, you go in a tip the trailer. So it's best just go nice and steady just along that section there. And that rock is proving a problem for me. Hopefully I can get over that rock. So I believe this freight liner is actually a, uh, it's an ex-military vehicle. The differential lock is always on with the optional four-wheel, all-wheel drive. It does seem a superb vehicle. Now, I'm going to take this section as high as I can close to that rock. Because we don't want to be sliding down there. That's a big drop. That's a big tumble. Just going to take it nice and steady. Now this Freightliner currently has the standard engine in it. However, I do have the upgraded tyres on with the chains on the rear. So on the right hand side now we are just approaching where that little detour comes out and you can get round there. You may need another truck to give you a tug out because uh, the snow does get a little bit deep in places along 
that track, that trail there on the right hand side and there is a sharp turn which is uh, it's a little bit difficult to negotiate with this trailer but it is doable but you may need another truck to give you a helping hand now take it a little bit wide here because look at the back of the trailer there you can catch a rock and there is a possibility you're going to get stuck and even tip it right at the back I think my wheels are just going over it now can I get a, can I get the camera on it let's have a look there we go got to be so careful there take it real wide there otherwise you, it's going to catch you out and on the approach to this next corner here make sure you take this as wide as you can because this is where I actually tipped the trailer on my second go if you get the trailer in the snow it, you will tip the trailer the road is so the trail the track here is so uneven that if you get the trailer in that snow you'll tip the trailer really easily and believe me it's happened to me and recovering it is quite difficult unless you've got the proper trucks which I haven't yet so here's my little white star parked up here and we're going to refuel here because this uh, this freight liner does drink fuel so we're going to um, just refill this uh, this freight liner here so the white western star parked up there has actually been a very good truck for me in the early days um, I love that truck old school white star excellent piece of kit why can't I fuel up here uh, I think refuel now I don't want fuel from the, uh, the western star right I think I'm going to have to jump into <laughs> jump into the change trucks so let's just get in the other truck here and uh, refuel up I'm not an expert at this game so uh, I'm going to make mistakes right we should be able to fuel up now there we go and we've got to jump back into the uh, freight liner right so we're all fueled up once we uh, once we knew how to do it so it's not over yet it does get a little bit more tricky because there is an absolute huge mud bog just up the road here Okay, what's going on here? Oh no! Don't want to tip the trailer up here. That's going to have to back it off. You've really got to take the corners really wide with this trailer, as wide as you can. There's so many sections on this particular road here, or trail, that try to trip you up. It's, it's just such a dangerous... Uh, dangerous route this is so many places where you can just roll the trailer tip it up Okay, so we'll make our way slowly now down to the next uh, difficult section, the great big mud bog.
Okay, so we're approaching the uh, the great big muddy sloppy section. Now you can go to the left. I've only ever tried to go through the left hand side once. Never made it. Not in the. Uh, I think it was the Western Star. I tried to take down there. I didn't do it. I've also tried to take trucks through the centre of this mud bath down here. This big great big mud bog, should I say? And I've never got any of my trucks through there yet in the centre. Bear in mind I've only got um, a handful of uh, trucks because I've only just started the game. Um, so what I do is I, I stay to the tree line as you can see here and I use the winch. I use the winch to uh, winch my way along So this is just what I I do. You you may do a different way. You may be able to go round the other way and get round. Or you may have a better truck that you can just plough through this mud this mud bog. At the moment I haven't got one and I'm unable to do that. off a little bit bogged down here look at all the dirt on the side of the truck a proper work truck nice and dirty no shiny paint or chrome real dirty truck <laughs> it's a workhorse Right, can we get a winching point? Yes, we can. I'm just so glad this game's come out at the moment because as everywhere else in the world, we've got that uh, absolutely horrendous COVID-19 disease and uh, pretty much in lockdown here still in the UK as I make this video and there's not a lot to do so this is sort of keeping me occupied at the moment because I can't go anywhere. And it's also, uh, that COVID-19, it's also hitting the UK pretty bad at the moment. So I'm sort of uh, avoiding people as much as I can. So stay safe out there in these trying times and uh, play a little bit of SnowRunner. It's a great game if you're into this sort of uh, extreme trucking. 
you're not going to get anywhere fast but uh, it's quite a challenge I'm enjoying it now managed to get out of there finally well, I don't say I've got stuck here I've never got stuck here I've never got stuck here never Come on, I've forgotten how to use the winch. What am I doing? Let's see if I move a little bit forward. Will it let me connect to that post? Ah, oh, there we go. So it's now a left hand turn. When I first attempted this, I got all the way to here, no problem. But I did go that little detour way and come out here. But then I looked in the map on the map to check my uh, my route, and uh, I had the map sort of upside down on the screen, and I turned the wrong way. I went right instead of left, and I couldn't turn back around, and I had to restart. <laughs> Oh, you have to make a big, wide turn here. Be very careful not to get the back of the trailer um, caught on them rocks which are at the back. Otherwise, there's a possibility you may tip up. So you have to be careful here. And you have to take it wide and make sure you don't hit the barrier. Otherwise, you may get stuck on the barrier. That may become a problem. There is some signs there as well. I previously knocked them down on my uh, previous attempt. So now we're on the ice road and it's a little bit slippy. So don't get too overconfident as you uh, go along here. Else you may jackknife the truck and that. <laughs> if you tip it, you might have to start again. Depending on what sort of recovery vehicles you've got. So it's a nice steady drive now on this very slippery road down to the port. So we are approaching the bridge and I know we can get under the bridge because I've done it before and uh, I forgot to press the record button, that's why I'm doing it again now. <laughs> So we've just got to negotiate around the uh, security, uh, around the entrance here. That's not too bad, that's quite easy. We'll get around here, no problem. Loving this, uh, this freight liner. I'm not too sure about the handbrake noises on these vehicles. The handbrake noises sound to me like a car handbrake. They sound as though they're on a cable. If you notice that, every time you press the handbrake, it's like pulling the... Um, a car handbrake. So, here we go. Job done. So this will be the floating drill or floating drill. Contract. Contract completed. Disposed of all the junk. So if you enjoyed the video, if you can smack that like button, that would be absolutely fantastic. But, uh, just look at the Freightliner. I'm loving this truck. I'm quite enjoying this truck. Uh, I think I'm going to be having a few outings in this one. And I'm most definitely going to be keeping it for now. But uh, that's all for SnowRunner today. Like I say, if you enjoyed the video, do all the usual YouTube stuff. Smack the like button. And uh, maybe leave a comment below. So uh, thanks for watching.